Hi everyone and welcome back into another Photoshop tutorial. Today we are going to create this retro poster. Now let's create a new document. These are my document settings. Now go to file, open. Now open this statue image, drag and drop this image into our document. I'm going to close this. Now press Ctrl plus T and then adjust the image position. Now I'm changing its rotation. Then press enter to confirm. First of all we are going to cut this image into 5 parts. Let's begin the process. First of all let's duplicate this layer, press Ctrl plus J to duplicate this layer. Now rename these layers, rename first layer with first and third name and the second layer with middle name. I am going to explain it later. Why? We need to duplicate the layers. Now, select pen tool, make sure path is selected. Draw a path like this on the layer. If you make a mistake you can fix it by holding the control key and adjust the points. At last connect this path. I am going to bring the path window and put it into the layer box. Now here is the learning point. We are going to convert this path into selection. You can press Ctrl plus Enter key to make it selection. Now select the middle layer, and select selection tool, right click, inverse selection and press delete key. Now we have middle area of this layer. Let me show you. Here you see. Now select the first layer, and, again inverse the selection. First of all let me explain, why we need to inverse again. We already have our middle area, we need to delete middle area that's why we are going to invert the selection. Here you see we have two layers, middle layer and first third layer. Let's extract the third layer. Select marquee tool and make a selection around the bottom part. right click and click on layer via cut this will extract all area contains in selection you see here we have three layers now let's rename these layers and adjust by its label i'm going to hide first and second layer again we have to repeat the process draw a path using pen tool Press Ctrl plus Enter key to make it selection. If you make selection first, you need to duplicate the layer by right click, and select duplicate layer. Again rename the layers. Select fourth layer, inverse the selection and press the delete key. Now select third fifth layer, inverse the selection and press the delete key. Now again draw selection using marquee tool, and right click, delete via layer cut. Now we have 5 layers. Now let's rename and arrange them all. Now simply move all the layers one by one. Let's merge these layers. Before we merge, you can select all layers and make a copy of it. Merge the copy layers and save the originals layers as backup group. Now adjust the position of it. Now let's create fill effect. First create new layer. Use pen tool and draw a shape like this one or maybe you can do it better. Now fill foreground color using out plus backspace key. Create new layer and do the same process. Now select all layers and make it group. I'm going to rename the group. Let's add gradient into fill layers. Select the layer, open blending options. Now select gradient overlay, use pink and dark pink colors and adjust the position. Now right click this layer, and select copy layer styles. Now select all three layers, right click and click on paste layer styles.
Select background layer. Now change foreground color. And press Alt plus Backspace to fill it. Go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter. Now click on FX button and add some vignette effect to it. If you want to change the color of background you can add some hue and saturation. Press Alt key and clip this effect for background layer only. Now in the properties panel you can easily change the color by selecting hue and saturation effect. Now adjust the position. Let's create sun. First create new layer, rename layer to sun. Now draw a circle, you can select color of your sun. I am using pink color and fill into layer using Alt plus Backspace key. Place it under the stature group. I'm changing color using hue and saturation by pressing Ctrl plus U key. Now let's add glow into sun, duplicate the layer and rename it. Now go to filter, blur, gush and blur. Now increase the radius and hit OK. Now adjust the sun position and make it group. Now let's add some cloud, go to Google, type cloud PNG, find best cloud PNG for you and place it. I also have these cloud, open it, drag and drop into main document. Now adjust the size and its position. Wait. Why clouds are black? You can open blending options and add color overlay with white color cloud turned into white. Adjust the position, I'm deleting second cloud, I am happy with this. Now select statue, press Ctrl plus T key to use transform tool and adjust its position. Go to Google again and find some grunge textures. This is fine. Simply copy image and paste into Photoshop using Ctrl plus V key. Change blend mode to overlay and adjust its position. Create a new layer and name it dots. Rename all things one by one. Select brush tool and select special effects brush, and simply click left mouse button. 1, 2, 3. 3, and 4. Add some color overlay effect if you want. I am going to change background color using this hue and saturation. Dots looks good in white color. Select vertical text tool and enter your text, I'm using intro font. Duplicate text layers and add some normal texts. Rearrange all layers one by one. Let's create triangle. Select this shape tool and select pentagon. Now only left click and type three sides. You get shape of triangle. Now press Ctrl plus T key to transform and adjust its position. Press Ctrl plus Enter key to make it selection. Select selection tool, right click. And now add some stroke, location will be inside, choose your color and hit enter. Now we have triangle, to add glow effect, again duplicate the layer and use Gaussian blur. Our retro poster is now ready, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more tutorials.